All oh, right, welcome back, my dear student. So we are actually making a lot of improvement here since we're starting to write this code. And um, it's going to be a great thing, all right? I'm just going to organize my code a little bit here. All right? All right, so why is the next thing? The next thing would be to actually create the while loop, right? To make this fetch. So let's actually use a variable here and use the function mysqli fetch array. Let's pass in the query, which is the query. Let me just copy this real quick. I don't want to actually write it down, make a mistake, and then you know go crazy trying to find out what's going on, right? So just because we have a table, I'm going to go to the index here. We have a table down here right where we're going to be catching that data we do, we need a tr and we need some tds some cells right so let's go back to display cars and so the first thing that i want to do is echo a tr there we go the second thing would be to echo a td with some information right so we can say and let's put it in brackets actually we can use it this is the only way we can use arrays here when we have double quotes all right that's why i like to use double quotes because you can use arrays so we want to pull out the id it's the first thing we want to pull out let me make sure make sure that you put these single quotes around it and then we close that td like this then we can just copy this and provide the name of that car, which I think is cars. That's the way you can bring it out of the database. And then let's make sure that this is the same there. We can actually get this from here, close the TR like this. Beautiful. And we save it. All right. So this is looking really nice. Next thing uh, to do is to try this code and see if it works. But anyway, we're going to do that in the next lecture. And if we find a bug or anything, we'll fix it. You are welcome to try the code. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, don't worry. We'll get it working on the next lecture. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next lecture.